In this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable or disable Safeguard for PlusNet and Broadband. So head over to plus.net and you need to sign in with your username and your password. These will be the username and password you used when you first signed up for PlusNet. So on the main page, simply hover over the My Account and select Broadband, Phone and TV. Click on that and then you will be asked to enter your username and your password. Once you've logged in on the main page, simply use the menu at the top here and go along to broadband, click on broadband. Once that loads, scroll down to the bottom of the page and on the left hand side under help and settings, you should see safeguard. So click on safeguard. So basically safeguard allows you to block certain websites from being received within your home so you can either select on or off i'm not sure whether this is enabled by default or not but it doesn't really matter so if you want to select on simply select on so select on click save so it does tell you once you've selected it that you have to um restart your router so just turn it on and off and it says it can take up to two hours to take effect so just be patient as it won't work straight away so once it's on you can then use the left hand side menu again so if you want to block certain categories select block categories and you can see here's lots of different categories such as chat and instant messaging criminal activity and hacking dating forums gambling gaming hate illegal drugs image sharing nudity pornography uh, social networking violence and so on so if you wanted to block a certain website you could just uh, say for example streaming media and downloads select block click save and we and that website is now blocked so if we go back to block categories you can see that that particular one is now blocked i've also blocked weapons so you can block lots and lots of different categories you can also choose to block certain websites so just enter the website url here and click add or you can select allow websites so certain websites you don't want blocked you can allow them you can also turn on the timer here so you can have this this filter active between certain hours so if you want to keep your kids safe but you want to access certain websites after a certain time you can just enter a timer here and so on so really it's as simple as that and if you want to turn it off again select off click save changes just remember to turn your router on and off and it should take effect within an hour or two. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.